Hello listeners, this video will discuss about The Dover's Wife, which is a dramatic short story by the Australian writer Henry Lawson. Henry Lawson was a Australian writer and a bush poet. Bush poet means a person who talks more about the landscape of a particular place. During his time, Banjo Patterson, he was his contemporary Australian poet and a fiction writer. These two writers were the famous writers of the colonial period. They are often quoted as Australia's greatest short story writer. The short story The Dover's Wife is about a woman who is left alone with her four children. She was left isolated in a hut during the late 19th century. This short story was first published in 1892 in the edition of the Bulletin magazine and was subsequently reprinted along with the author's other anthologies. Let us see the characters of this short story. First is the bush woman. She is an unnamed bush woman. She is a main character in this short story. The story centers around her challenges that she faced in raising her family on her own in the Australian bush. Next is Tommy. Tommy is 11 years old who is the eldest of the bush women's children. In the story, Tom's character is a brave one. Alligator. Alligator is the family snake dog which attempts to kill a snake at the beginning of the story. Next is the drover. This character never appears in the story, but this character's existence shapes much of the action. The main character, the bush woman, is the wife of the Dover. King Jimmy. King Jimmy is an aboriginal man. Aboriginal is the one who is the inhabitant in a land from the earliest times. He is otherwise called as indigenous or a native man. So Jimmy is a native man. His wife is Black Mary. The minor character is Jackie. Jackie is the younger of the bush women's two sons. Let us now see the summary of this short story. The bush women lives in a small ramsackle house in Australia. As the story starts, her son Tommy is at the back of a snake. He has a stick in his hand and he is going behind a snake. Along with him, their dog Alligator follows the snake and both are unable to catch the snake. However, the snake slips under the floorboards of the house. The bush woman who plays the center role in the story, she very well knows that a snake may bite her children. The weather outside was also little stormy. So she tries to set up everything so that the snake could not reach her children. She sets up a bed on the kitchen table for her children. Then the story moves to the bush women's dream life. She was dreamt of a more comfortable life. She always desired or enjoyed to have been pampered by her husband. Her husband is a drover. Ever since the drover lost everything in a drought, the bush woman has grown alone. And she works tirelessly to ensure her family survival. Although she does not see her husband very often, he treats her very well. Because her husband has moved from her to a long distance. But she is left to take care of the family of her own. And she is left to protect her children from the various threats that they face in the bush. And during the childbirth, she was nearly dead. She only survived with the help of a local aboriginal couple. One of her child was dead. She rode nearly 20 miles with her child's body in search of help. Once a bushfire totally consumed their house, but she managed to put it out with the help of four bushmen who just arrived at the last minute. The weather condition in Australia was challenging for her. The nature has many times assaulted her. Once during a flood, a dam broke. The dam was actually built by her husband. Due to the flood, her best cows got illness and they died. As she lives inside the bush, she has fought many wild animals. 
she has also held her room against many men who arrive to her door while her husband is away this bush woman had only less pleasure the pleasure for her is to read the young lady's journal this journal contains fashion illustration that she likes to look at and she likes to read it and assume it in the journal there will be many depictions of the life in australian cities and towns influenced by those articles she used to dress up nicely dresses her children every sunday she takes them for a long walk through the bush with her baby carriage once the bush woman realizes that her candle is about to end so she goes to get some wood from the wood pile wood pile is a stack of wood stored for fuel and in the beginning of the story the aboriginal man has built house for this bush woman and when she moves out to get some woods the wood pile collapses and that caused her to realize that the aboriginal man has deceived her by building the house hollow she then cries aloud but soon she calms down there was a partition between the kitchen and the rest of the house alligator their dog suddenly approaches between the kitchen and the house and at this time the bush woman realizes that the snake must have emerged when she grabs her stick the alligator gets there first the alligator catches the snake and shakes it until it dies the bush woman then catches the snake from the dog's mouth and throws it and put the snake's remains into the fire tommy her son embraces her and promised her saying that she will never be a drover just like his father this bush woman in the short story is from the european descent and she represents to be a settler in the story however her husband is an australian and so she is after she married him the story was written during the colonial period lawson depicts the european colonialism that distracted the aboriginal people the themes of the story is human versus nature because in the story as the woman lives in the bush she undergoes many snake and the flower boats the snake also threatens the family by appearing often next is gender here in the story women takes a major role by taking care of her household while her husband is away she is left in a strange position her character resembles the aspects of femininity for example taking care of the family and dressing up to have a small walk every sunday and reading a young lady's journal next is colonialism and racism so there are many european settlers who arrive into the australian landscape in order to abduct the land from the aboriginals so here also in the story king jimmy is an aboriginal man who builds house for bush women the bush women takes help from king jimmy for everything this shows the attitude of the colonizers so usually they try to take the land from the aboriginals or the natives they treat them like slaves they treat them like servants for petty jobs they use them isolation and vulnerability here the woman she stays alone with her children she is constantly made vulnerable to danger she is geographically isolated from the landscape there were many life threats for her livelihood for her health and for her general well being next is desire and poverty in the story also we come across this young woman she dreams of living a comfortable and exciting life with her husband but that did not happen in her life she comes across countless hardships in the bush she has become used to live devoid of her dreams right from her youth but she has accepted the difficulty hope this video helps thank you for listening